This is very exciting. This is the Corsair Vengeance 1100 gaming communication headset. What I really think they mean to say is gaming headset because no headset for gaming is not for communication. So it's a little redundant, but I get where they're coming from. Online gaming and chat with outstanding comfort. Now that is a very interesting point because even though this is my first unboxing and it is my first encounter with the retail package for the Vengeance 1100, I have had the pleasure of listening to one already down at the Corsair headquarters and I'm going to go ahead and spoil the surprise. The thing is freaking awesome considering the price point. It's lightweight, actually, which happens to be the very first word on the back as far as what Corsair has to say about it. Lightweight behind the head design for outstanding comfort during long sessions online. It is also extremely good sounding. So it features 40 millimeter drivers and high sensitivity noise cancelling cardioid microphone for clear unambiguous voice communication okay digital usb and three and a half mil analog connectors which is awesome considering the price point once again and it's compatible with pcs laptops and sound cards i think what they mean by sound cards is pcs um via the analog connection so laptops they're intending you to use the USB connection because let's face it almost every laptop in the world has terrible terrible sound and then for your PC depending on whether you're using onboard sound or whether you are using a dedicated sound card you're gonna wanna go with the USB for your onboard sound replacement and then you're gonna wanna go with those analog jacks if you already have a decent dedicated sound card so wow this is very challenging to remove there we go and good riddance to you, packaging. All right. Oh, look at that. It comes with a little carrying case. A little Corsair. Hey, I think this is the same as their power supply one. Hold on. Let me see if a power supply fits in it. Hold on. Hold on. Got a power supply here. There's an AX850 power supply. And no. It would appear Corsair has actually redesigned the Corsair bag to fit things other than power supplies, more specifically, the Vengeance 1100 headset. So let's start with, uh, you know what? Let's not start with the headset itself. I'm just gonna put these on here. And let's start with the features overall. Okay, so we have, first of all, let's go all the way down the cord to find all of the relevant features. Hold on a second, I think I got it on. It's a little bit wrong here. There we go. That's where the ears are supposed to go. So the first thing we find down the very flexible, very nice braided cord is volume control as well as a mic mute. So be careful with that. Oh, we actually, oh, check this out. This is like the littlest thing that nobody ever thought of before. At least I haven't seen it before. Look at that, see, green. Green, red. Which one do you think is on and which one do you think is off? How many people have not been able to tell when glancing down at their inline control whether their mic is on or whether it's muted? Which could be relevant. It's like, you know, uh, you know, oh, oh hey guys, uh, B BRB. Mom, I can't come up for dinner, I'm raining! You know, and then you yelled that in everyone's ear because you couldn't tell if your mic was muted or not. So there you go, now that problem is solved. So we're gonna keep going down this nice long cord here. Features inline cable management. So there you go, there's your little Velcro strap that you can use to bundle it up if you so desire. Here's where the one splits into two, where we get our analog connection. So there's your microphone, there is your headphone jack, and then finally we have the USB sound card. So there, this is. See, another thing that it's just insane that nobody ever thought of before, but here's Corsair doing it. Look at this. It has the diagrams on both sides. Amazing. See, it doesn't cost more when you're molding a plastic piece like this to label it better, but for some reason everyone only labels one side and leaves the other side blank. But now, now that they've done it, now that they've invested in their own piece of plastic, it'll be unique and it'll be better forever. All right, here's the USB plug. So that's what you plug into your laptop or whatever else the case may be. I mean, if you're going to use your, you know, iPod or iPhone or whatever else, then you obviously won't need that. So we can go ahead and see, plug that in there. It's compatible with anything that features a headphone jack. That's pretty much it. I'm not actually going to play anything on it right now. But let's have a look at the headphones themselves. So why don't, why don't, I, why don't I just model them for you here for a little bit here, guys. Is that dramatic enough? Okay. Here, I'll take them off for a minute. So, features, as they, I mentioned before, a very lightweight behind-the-head design. So there's your little Corsair logo. There's your chromed accents. This is going to rest on the back of your neck. And check this out. Once again, another smart thing that evidently nobody ever thought of. Um, and that, well, actually, okay, I'm not a headphone. I'm not an over-the-air headphone expert, so maybe someone else thought of this. But you got nice rubberized, grippy stuff 
going all the way around the inside of the headset. So what that means is it is extremely comfortable and wherever you put it, it tends to just sort of it tends to just sort of stay. Like it kind of it kind of holds on to you there. Okay, you can also, oh check this out. This goes how many degrees? That looks like 270 degrees around. So you can actually tuck it way back way over here or you can put it up here if you want to look like you have a little antenna or you can put it down here in front of your mouth if you want to talk. I'm not sure if this is flexible. It turns out it is. Corsair thinks of everything so you can either move it away from your mouth if everyone says hey your voice you know doesn't sound too good. Your volume's too high. You don't have time to adjust your volume. You're too busy gaming. Just move it away from your mouth a little bit. Bam! Problem fixed, right? Okay. But otherwise normally you would just put it there. Okay, let's go keep going around the overall design of it. So you've got a nice brushed metal finished look here on the Corsair logo. You've got your microphone is ported actually on both sides. Check that out. There you go. And then this part, as I showed you before, is quite flexible as well. All right. And then the 40 mil... Oh, okay, okay. Other side, we've got a Corsair logo. We've got some blue accents to go along with the other blue and chromey, metally accents. It's a really sharp looking little unit. And then finally, we have the secret which is the secret not only to the sound quality, but also the comfort. And that is the 40 mil drivers surrounded by what? Is this? Hold on. Is this memory foam? Okay, they're not saying it's memory foam, so it's probably not. I'm sure they would say it if it was, but that is really nice foam. Here, cameraman, feel the foam. Does that feel like more comfortable than normal foam? Cameraman says yes, he also agrees with me, so... I think that's actually pretty much it. That's the Vengeance 1100. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not quite right. Yeah.